Grade 4 Math, number 56, Making Common Denominators. Fractions that have a common denominator represent whole things cut into the same amount of parts. See, both of these are cut into four parts, so they have the same denominator of four. So I want you to remember that factors are the numbers you multiply together to get an answer, and the multiples are the answers, okay? Keep that in mind, all right? So let's look at what we've got here. Just as we reduced fractions and got them to their simplest form by dividing in the last video, we can make fraction parts bigger by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number, okay? All we have to do is find the multiples. One half can become three six by multiplying the numerator and denominator by three. We ask, what multiple did two and six have in common? Well, the answers to them in the multiplication table are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And for 6, we got 6, 12, 18. And look at the smallest number they have in common is 6. So they're going to meet at the 6, all right? They're going to meet at the 6's house. So the 6, in, for the 2 to become a 6, he has to be multiplied by 3. Well, the numerator gets jealous, and he wants to be multiplied by 3. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 half becomes 3 6. See? If you have 3 of 6 parts, you've got half, right? All right, so two fractions with two different denominators can meet at a common multiple for the denominator. If a half wants to meet with 4 fifths, which multiples do 2 and 5 have in common? We look at the denominators and say, what do 2 and 5 have in common? So here's their multiples. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, the smallest number they have in common is the 10. So that's where they're going to meet, at the 10's house. Because they both have 10 in common as multiples, they both can meet at the 10. So we ask, what does 2 need to become a 10? It needs to be multiplied by 5. The 1 gets jealous, so it gets multiplied by 5. 1 times 5 is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now the 5, what does it need to become a 10 to meet at the 10's house? It needs to be multiplied by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. The, the numerator gets jealous, so it gets multiplied by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So now they have the same denominator, 5 tenths and 8 tenths. The two different fractions are not multiplied by the same number. Okay? The numerators and denominators inside are... See, these are both 2, these are both 5, but 5 and 2 are not the same. See? I'll show you why. Let's say that Emma and Lisa called each other on the phone and said, let's meet at the cafe. Well, Emma went 1, 2 blocks to get to the cafe, and Lisa went 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks to get to the cafe. All right? Emma travels 2 blocks, Lisa travels 4 blocks to meet at the same place. Because they're at different distances from the cafe, they travel different amounts, okay? The 2 is farther away from the 10, so it has to be multiplied by a bigger number. The 5 is bigger than 2. It's closer to 10 on a number line, so it gets multiplied by a smaller number. See, it had a shorter distance to go. So, if we wanted to help 3 fifths and 4 tenths meet, where could they meet? All right, well, what's the smallest common multiple they have? We write the answers for the 5 times table because it's got a 5 for a denominator. We write the answers for the 10 times table because it's got a 10 denominator, and these are their multiples. And we find out the smallest one that they have in common. Well, it's 10. So that's going to be where we're trying to meet at. They're going to meet at 10's house. What does 5 need to get to 10? It needs to be multiplied by 2. So the top gets jealous, and he wants to be multiplied by 2, the numerator. So 5 times 2 is 10, and 3 times 2 is 6. 3 fifths becomes 6 tenths. See? Now, if they're going to meet at the 10's house, the, the 10 didn't have to go anywhere, did he? They're meeting at the 4 tenths house. So he's just staying put on his sofa waiting for this guy to come over. So he doesn't get multiplied by anything. He just stays home. See? All right. So now let's look at this one. Three-fourths and seven-tenths want to meet. So we list their multiples, their answers in the times table. Four is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. 
10 is 10, 20, 30, 40. We don't need to go any farther. They both have a 20 in common. That's the smallest number, okay? So we put that here, and we ask, what does 4 need to become a 20, to meet at 20's house? 4 needs to be multiplied by 5. So the numerator wants to be multiplied by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 fourths becomes 15 twentieths. What does 10 need to become a 20? Well, it needs to be multiplied by 2. Well, the numerator gets jealous and wants to be multiplied by 2. So, 7 tenths becomes 14 twentieths. See how we did that? So just as we were able to make a fraction smaller by dividing, we can make a fraction bigger by multiplying. Just make sure you multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, by the same number. Just like when you're dividing, you would divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay? So that is how you make common denominators. You multiply and look for multiples. Okay? So they know whose friend's house they can meet at. Whether they're staying home and the friends are coming over, or if they have to travel a distance to get to the place they're meeting at. Okay? See you next video. Bye.